as we grow in humanity's own understanding and moral of man-made law or lawlessness against constitutions or even for constitutions as the Christ or Antichrist in reference to everyday living in death and its divinational practice from its own doing or another's mouth say owns doing be that we raised a spiritual child and it has come to understanding and wisdom in order to make its own choices in life. So the war that takes us from peace and further and further away from the true vine there in the beginning of Adam and Eve in the tree of knowledge at which we were fed childbirth and a world conflict in it um, between man and woman. The, they call it the enmity or um, well, the vampire death. And in my understanding now there are probably others that disagree but the true vine from the ground up that grows within us in all matters of life and death in the flesh and even after it's purified life and death acting or festivity or art or even law in its purpose against itself by the rationalization of one mirror reflection in union to the spirit of death in all people in this union that he or she who is above feeds off of for his or her own prosperity, understanding that the spirit is the he she preference, just as the soul um, or star in the dark space above. The term working for everlasting life and understanding the commandments being the um, light, the lamp, be it flesh and blood in Jesus Christ with uh, our Ryan who shared the art of children and of nature um, that practices law as the four horsemen or lambs of God and other microscopic species of creation that the elders had come together in um, the grand, um, I say, imagination or the grand manipulation to the sense and all of them that are naturally a part of our body in the offering, man-made sacrificial offering. Um, even there, there is said that there are only two churches, the two sisters that fall in a new city, a new beginning, a new Jerusalem, this, that, and the other. I have come to a conclusion that there are segmented parts of the two churches, but it is a spiritual union of creation, be it the body or the ark with windows to see the heavens as it's described with Noah in the book of Genesis, all of the listed alpha, female, and male um, species to carry the ark of the covenants that the choice king or lord had made in the creation from the ground up of that species from nature to animal to fish to bird to it's all part of the same genealogy but it's from one king with a covenant agreement to however many 
um, like species or from the same species exist from that. Surely when the fall of man comes down to hear of um, he who speaks the gold and silver or the purity of something that is able to be refinished or they say a furnace or burning of a heat treatment, a smith of a burning, a tempering of a tool of a treasure made pure in order to go back to heaven. The, the two churches be the ark of the kings and the lords, whether it's to salvage or go to war in the people's choice antichrist. In this world, we live in the flesh, so it can only be the antichrist when Jesus was something more than that. But he is a part of the antichrist through the father, Hades, which is the king of all 12 tribes, because we, as people, are all born through death, through the mother's womb. And some of us are, are lucky enough to not be born through death. These are called the alpha males listed, or alpha females listed, to carry the Ark of the Covenant in whatever um, purpose that is already written to overcome or a purpose for writing something new to move forward and take a big giant step into something that has not yet been uh, taken. If, if we don't move forward as a people, both um, spiritually in a church and mundanely um, in in um, venturing on into a universe or going into the depths of the sea or you know what I mean we don't we don't move forward because we're stuck in one place and we go to war and we just destroy ourselves this this is the the um, epiphany of the analogy of the book is destroying ourselves and we come to a religion that says that this must take place, destroying ourselves. I don't find that to be true at all. I find that to be uh, a test of all people's heart, minds, and souls for their own freedom. Um, whether it be um, the guilty, said guilty, we are all guilty, but the said guilty who, by large numbers, come against those that are strong in faith, um, whether it be for a courtship of a woman to cause the fall or destruction of all them that put their trust in this one person to carry the ark through and the species and its creation from being destroyed and becoming extinct by the fall that cannot rise unless it rises through one like the Son of Man, most likely an injured head, um, a Lamb of God that was a, that is able, or was it was written able to tame the beast with his prosperous gatherings of manna and the gold and silver of purity that he speaks, but strong in faith and surviving. The scales of war that Hercules defeated in treachery, saying that um, he fought himself, be it he was one like the Son of Man, and the inheritance is the land, and it came with an abomination, which is the people, divination, the churches that can't no longer salvage because they have defile themselves in such a manner or um, it was not yet learned yet and over the, the time that have taken place it is becoming more and more evident that there are people that are um, 
blessed in such manners to be able to salvage. And, and if it wasn't for those great kings and lords that have gone before us, we would not know these things. So, um, defeated the scales of war and treachery and in doing so. Um, it is said in some prophecies that Hercules slew his entire family. And, and there are other religious views that says that the wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, however the case, I can't say it myself that this is actually what t has taken place. This is just what is written about Hercules who did fight the scales of war. And I've called him to be the black lip abalone, which is the color of red and black. Um, it is a, uh, a clam, um, type species and it is made of a hard rock and um, very delicious in in some um, countries they cook it and eat it anyways um, if it is the handmade symphony of controlled people in a scale of war matrix as it is written that tries to defile us in the manners of a law by man's choice or woman's choice or man that is controlled by a woman's choice, whatever the case, as it is written, then the defeater of the matrix can only be the creator in a mirror reflection by the union of the spirit in death in all colors of the spirit in death, white, red, black, and pale, and so on, um, because it's wise to win the spirits and it is wisdom and knowledge that, that wins these spirits that come to a belief that seems logical and true and they actually see it take place, the miraculous wonder of salvation and redemption and so on. And understanding the, the prophecies of what takes place on earth also happens in hell's sanctuary. I have explained this to be Helheim and it used to be a great imagination of spirits, like a, a piece of God, a spiritual sphere around a great star. And it was a, a babble of many people. And when we ate from the tree of forbidden fruit and gave childbirth from the woman that came from the rib of Adam, it sleeping with itself. It's like a, it's explained that the head of Jesus Christ is man and then the head of woman is man and in other uh, places in the Bible that, that shares the same um, idea. But um, in the mirror reflection, man, woman, um, children, adults, children, whatever, by the union of the spirit and death in all color, can the creator um, defeat itself? And this is the purpose of law, is I have found in my life, is overcoming the boundaries that are set in the Bible, in Exodus, and so on, seeking all first males of every um, species that goes against the Ark of Noah and God protecting his creation. And we come to realize what the church is and its purpose, um, not just upon this world for what takes place in this world also happens in heaven. We come to conclusion in heaven until the conflict itself separates us and a predator, a predator of such means should be labeled a murderer if the young um, favored one in the union is believed to be something of worth. And, and those that just hate truth, that grind their teeth at it and they gnash and they, all these things, they want you to be something else. They, they stalk you and, and persecute you and 
punish you with their own um, rituals and religions and beliefs, their own policy. But the Oracle Delphi, written in her church with Jesus, who rises up as the Python Oracle, um, Python Delphi is said to be the Python. Um, and the many king's heads that she had in her church, I described to be 12, and it was administered to the 12 prophets through Jesus after, um, after the time of King David um, in the Helheim world, and then he became king in hell with all 12 tribes, over all 12 tribes. But um, the king's head that is injured and known in the scripture to tame the beast or shepherd the beast as the lamb and the 12 prophets that the Lord drinks from within his father's kingdom. This is, this is something that is interesting because it, it says in some some ways defeating itself man and woman and father and son this is this is the other rationalization that i'm still having trouble with but um fooled by the cherubim was we to inherit childbirth in the ark and the fleshly sacrifice in the dark church with i call it venom bitumen it means mortar or asphalt, it's where truth falls down in the streets and it comes on the rooftops and um, does the whole separating the family thing, turning brother against brother, mother and children, and fathers and daughters and all that stuff. And it, it comes to corrupt the land in its inheritance over all colors in the flesh. Um, and we are either gifted to overcome the plot in creating law and punishing God's children for the mere reflection of corrupt that Jesus Christ turned the other cheek to and was crossed in its wrath by the pig cherubim, Herod, steward, I call it a steward or speaker over the head, known um, at the gates as a gatekeeper to childbirth, be it that we are born through flesh. And the law in it from the wellspring of Jesus Christ with the king Hades of death and all twelve tribes born into death from the womb of a woman dying from God known to be the vampire or the, the warm-blooded um, wolf or lion which they are said to be like-minded in a a community of women and um, alpha omega males. So, as I explained with Adam and Eve in the beginning, that each body part and function be a covenant used for its creation, be the listed species in the ship of Noah has its own elder from the ground up since the beginning as it reads in 1 Corinthians 11.3 this is only my idea that each body part comes from a certain idea of a species in this world and there are covenants in the grand creation between God 